Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to cover everyone's favorite subject when it comes to Black Sea ships, rat lines. Everyone loves putting these things on their ships. <laughs> these honestly have been a source of some frustration and consternation. So what I wanted to do today is kind of take a look at how we can put the, the rat lines on the ships. These are the rat lines that actually come with the Warlords kits. These aren't uh, rat lines you can buy uh, from third party uh, manufacturers. So today we're going to discuss two things. The first thing we're going to cover is you know, what, what the problem is, how to maybe spot the problem before you actually have to de start dealing with the rat lines and potentially avoid the issues that the rat lines generally cause right out of the gate. The second thing we're going to do is if you've already rigged your ships and you're having trouble with the rat lines, we're going to show you how to take care of that. So stay tuned. We'll dive right in. All right, so let's pretend first you have not rigged your ships. You want to know if you're going to run into trouble with your rat lines. Let me kind of show you what the problem with the rat lines are initially. The brig itself is a great example of how the ships should have been des designed, in all of them. Now, if, let's see if we get that focused. Okay, so now you'll see here you've got the rat line, both rat lines are fine. You got the right behind it, you have the back stays. And you'll notice the back stays come down to the, a point in the hull behind these things, these long slats that are called channels. Okay, they're spelled chain whales. Uh, anyway, those channels are actually what anchor the rat lines on a real ship and the back stays as well in a lot of cases. The key is. On this ship, you'll notice they they put a little square hole in the hull of the ship to run your backstay, and it's well back of the uh, actual uh, rat lines. The problem is on the frigate. That isn't the case. Here's one before the rat lines are on. You'll notice now back here, the hole is behind the channel, which is great. It's that's perfect. But here, the hole is right there in front of the channel. That's going to cause a problem. Same with here. It's right in the middle because the the rat lines. Take a look at the an actual. Here's the. I'll put them together like this. You can see that backstay comes up right in the middle of where the rat line is going to be, and because the rat line is supposed to go up to. Oh, well, he's got this mount this ship. Sail mono backwards. So let's just work with the one here. This is a friends of mine ship. Um, you'll notice it's supposed to the, the rat line is supposed to run from right underneath this uh, fighting top all the way down to this. The problem is the backstay is going to be further out from the hull and the mast than the rat lines. That means the rat lines have to move go through the backstay. Now on a real ship, that's not how it works. And that's where most of the frustration comes when you're putting rat lines on, with the frigates especially. They don't you know that don't have that problem with brigs, and you but you may actually have that with the third rates. But it all depends on how you go about uh, do using. Well, we'll we'll take a look at the third rates in a second. I don't want to get ahead of myself. So right away you know because the line comes down to, to the middle of the channel, you're going to have an issue. To avoid that, I'll put a link to a video that I've got that kind of shows some tips for how to you know, do work with your ships to make it building easier. But you actually should drill a separate hole further back outside the channel. So here, let me take a look at, here's my uh, Diana. And for the front backstay, I put it right, you know, basically drilled a hole right in this, the canvas here. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, but it's behind the rat lines, and same thing here, dropped it between two cannons. And so now the backstay, I thread it through those holes to number 67 drill bit. So it's large enough to easily get the thread through, but small enough not to look like a big gaping hole in your, your ship. But it gave me the space to put the rat lines on without any difficulty whatsoever. So that's my first tip to try to avoid this. Now let's take a quick look at the third rates. Okay, because again, you're, you're going to have a similar problem. 
you'll notice now in the front the hole in the hull is sufficiently far enough back that the rat line's clear but here in the middle there's where the hole is and you'll see the, the, the rat line's off on this side you can see where the rat line is in the back so holding it there here is the hole for the backstay okay and you can see that's right in the middle where the rat where the rat line's going to fall so I had to again drill a hole so on the third rates your main mast uh, backstays you're going to have to come into a hole further back behind the channel if you do that you can rig it and the, you, the rat lines won't get in the way okay so that's the first problem with the rat lines the second problem uh, you're you're going to run into no matter what on the uh, basically the third rates and the frigates and so that's actually the fact that the cannons themselves will get in the way uh, in the case of the frigate let me start there these two cannons and this cannon will be in the way because they extend past the plane on which the the rat lines are going to uh, uh, fall so you actually have to shave these three cannon down at an angle I'll show you that in a second that's going to be regardless of what you do with the rest of the uh, rigging now on this third rate that is going to be a similar problem on this middle one so let's see on here I actually had to go in and shave down very a little bit these two guns now what I would suggest is that you lay the rat line down on it see how much if at all you need to shave that is probably one the easiest way to approach it an alternative method would be to actually bend the rat line slightly at the bottom so that you can get around the cannon but I would not recommend that simply because it's a lot of work and it's just extra steps and you can't really see the fact that you sh may have shav shaved down the cannon I know this one's actually cut uh, trimmed a little bit if I run the yeah there those are gone so cutting those down made a big difference all right, so step one, before you do anything at all, you're going to, we're going to work on a frigate today, but this applies again to the, both third rate or on the main mast and both uh, main and uh, foremast of the frigate. In both cases, you're going to have to remove, like I said, remove the gun. So I'll show you how to do that. The best way to do this is to take your knife, your exacto knife, a nice uh, number 11, and place it so that it is you're going to cut so that it's basically the same angle you know between the channel and the top of the gunnel so you're going to slice and I like to do it toward me a little bit here because that way I can watch to make sure I'm not digging into either of those pieces of plastic and then just sl there, just slowly lift it up and cut And then back here, same thing. Be careful not to cut the rigging you spent so much time doing. All right, so. There. Okay. Now you're going to have nice, nice unsightly white spots there. We'll take care of that in a second. Same thing here with this front gun on the forecastle. Okay. This is why I like to very carefully slice because you don't want the knife to slip and cut something else be it rigging or another detail part there it goes okay alright so now we've got three beautiful ugly spots on the ship best way to take care of that you know you can use paint if you want you know nothing wrong with that just go grab your black paint and boop 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 you're done but you can also use permanent marker this is gonna be hidden behind the uh, rat line anyway so you just need to darken it so that it can't be seen okay there we go okay boom there you go all right that's step number one all right step number two we're going to actually uh, measure the rat line we're going to work with the mainsail mass uh, the rat lines now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut it out of the sheet and then we're going to whoops <laughs> 
You didn't see that. Okay, <laughs> I won't bother editing that out. Um, the first thing you want to do is is you're going to measure. Make sure you get the right length because you may need to. Remember, these are, you know, these rat lines are designed to cover um, you know several different ships potentially, and so you might won't need to trim it slightly to get it the right height. So let's quickly take a look at that particular the particular rat line. Okay, so now I've got it cut out. You'll see that there's two, obviously there's two sides, right? There's one side has uh, just the rat line uh, acetate. You can see when you hold to the reflection, you just see the acetate surface. The other side, if you hold that reflection, you can actually still see the rat lines. That's the side it's printed on. Now, my personal preference is to have the rat line side facing out. Because when the light happens to catch the rat lines and shows a little bit of the glare, it's going to be obscured. The glare is going to be somewhat obscured or dulled down a little bit by the actual rat lines themselves. And so it just, to my, in my opinion, the, it looks better. But it is, it doesn't matter which way you want to do it. But the very first thing you're going to do, oh, by the way, it, I do cut them out while they're still on the white backing paper because it allows me to see the edge of the rat lines much better. Okay, the first thing you do is you're going to just place it where it's going to be anchored. And I'm going to move this out of the way so it doesn't distract us. Okay, so you place it right up here. You're not going to let go of it. Place it up. You're measuring at this point, okay? And you just want to make sure you got the right length. Now, for the frigate, the rat line is already the right length, okay? So you don't need to cut it down on top. Some ships, you may need to cut at the very top. You may need to cut, cut a little bit off. Uh, I know the merchant ships themselves, because they use uh, frigate and brig uh, rat lines, they're not exactly sized, so you will need to do some cutting. Okay, but now we run into that problem we had before, we talked about before, about that backstay being in the way. Because you can see, as I'm trying to push that in, let's see, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And hopefully we'll see that even better. Ready? As I try to push this in, the backstays are getting in the way. And when I actually try to place it, they're just, they're messing me up. Completely messing me up. So, the way to do this, my suggestion, is to cut the rat line thinner. So, the rat line is going to come straight down from the fighting top here straight down parallel to mast to the channel. So you're not going to cut from the, the front side. You're going to cut from the rear. Now looking at this, you have to hold it and kind of estimate how many lines you're going to have to remove. Looking at this, whoops, looking at this, I'm probably going to need to remove the last two. So, so I'm going to Look right here, see if this zooms in enough. There we go. I'm going to remove this one and this one. So I'm going to cut right along this third one. This, so this is where I'll actually, I'll get that backing paper again. So I can see my, whoops, my rat line much better. And let's see, here it doesn't matter which side you have, but Okay, there we go. And I'm literally going to start cutting right along here. So, two, three lines in. The third line in right there. And very carefully cut so I can see that line but I don't see any of the rat line behind beyond it there we go and then just there you go all right so now it's cut down a little bit thinner okay and now it should fit very well now so again you just place it there yeah so now it fits it fits better so let's see here
press it right up against the top of the or the bottom of the fighting top and it fits okay all right so now the, th the way I like to do this is to use and I've talked about this in my rigging video some of these tools a uh, small needle to apply the actual uh, super glue because super glue is the best way to fix these to the uh, rigging or masts so what I will do there's two you actually put the uh, super glue on two separate spaces here the first space is you're going to place super glue right up here on the inside of the top come on focus <laughs> sorry about this guys all right so right up here at the very top on the inside because that is going to be up against the fighting platform down here you're going to just cut you're not going to put any of the, any of the glue on the rat line itself instead you're going to put the glue here on the channel okay so we're going to go ahead and do that start personally i like to start with the by applying it to the channel first simply because it's a lot easier to uh, put the ship down with the super glue wet on the channel while you oops sorry while you work on the uh, actual there we go uh, sorry uh, rat lines themselves so there it's applied there okay and now we take the rat line and we put a dab of glue on a bead of glue actually right on the top inside don't put too much but you need to have a bead and then you very carefully feed it in place it in both spots and then press it home okay Up. It is fiddly. I'm not going to lie to you, but it can be done. Okay, there we go. Now, if you feel like it, if you want to, you can actually add more glue. You'll notice up here where the face of the rat line touches the mast uh, sail in the yard arm. You could even put a little glue right on that leading edge. And now you have to let that dry. But there you go. Now you've got a rat line that does not get in the way of these backstays. So there's my tip for you. And you just have to repeat that same process for each of the rat line sets. So in the case of the uh, frigate, the rear, or sorry, sorry, not the rear, sorry, did it again. The uh, foremast and the mainmast rat lines, you'll do the same thing. You'll cut it down a little bit thinner. So it's fewer rat line, uh, which doesn't look that bad. Um, here is my, the ship, the Diana. And I've got here, I'm going to back this out just a bit, where I went through and I actually rigged the ship up with, uh, you know, the, the backstays being further back. And you'll notice the size of the rat lines, it doesn't really detract from it. You know, you've, you've got both ships. You know, they still look good and you know I could you could even argue that the cut down ones actually look a little bit better because these look kind of big but you know it's all aesthetics anyway but there's a successful rat line application now you gotta let that dry and this is the patient you gotta be patient you want to make sure your glue here completely dries before you go on to the next now I use a slower uh, acting uh, super glue so I have to wait a little bit more a little bit longer you might if you use a more uh, of a uh, uh, quick acting one you'll be able to get to move along quicker but I would suggest that you use a thick uh, super glue so it doesn't run as quickly down the especially if you put a bead up here at the top if you have a thin super glue it's just gonna run right down and you want to avoid that also avoid putting too much 
on. Let me show you what happens when you do that. Here's a little uh, truth in advertising. On my Diana, I hope you'll be able to see, yes, yeah, you should easily be able to see this. Okay, take a look at what happens when you put too much glue on that channel. The vapors marred the acetate and there's no way to fix that so I'm stuck with it. So, a little, little disappointing but you know that's just be careful just put enough on to, to let it glue. Now once you've done all of your rat lines, all of your rat lines, every one of them, go back and just check to see if they're firm so very very carefully just kind of pick at the end see if it's still attached move the top see if it's still attached yep and as long as it's glued on you're good if it, it turns out that there's any that are loose you can always go back and put some more glue in here on the Diana uh, as time goes on and you end up with you know wear and tear this this one's loose at the bottom so I can actually go through and using my needle again okay that's a little maintenance tip, just kind of extra here. Boom. Okay. Now I can go in right underneath that, and I can put that on the channel. And then, using my X-Acto knife, just kind of push it back down there and hold it. Now I'm going to have to hold this for a bit, so... Yeah, that's just because it's my slow-acting super glue. That's all there is to it. All right, so that is how you deal with the rat line problem or problems on the frigate and the third rate. Two things you have to do: one is shave down the cannons, and then blacken the plastic with uh, paint or permanent marker. And then the second thing you do, again, if you've rigged following the warlord instructions, you'll need to actually cut down or thin down the rat lines themselves. So, it's a little more tedious, but it's, it's not hard to do at all. All right, then you'll have good-looking uh, ships to sail in your Black Seas game. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please do me a favor and uh, share this, like this, if you will, and please subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. The next one will be on uh, how to do the flags. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.